Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new vid of Fox Reacts. Today we're checking out a brand new vid from Thu- uh, a brand new vid from Thu- from Food Theory. Yeah, sorry, it's Monday. Yeah, about how someone is stealing our food. Let's hop in and see just who is behind this heinous act. Friends, there's no delicate way to put this. Someone is stealing from you right now. Literally taking money out of your pocket without you even realizing like it. In fact, many food companies are trying to hide this fact from you through deceptive packaging that ranges from mildly misleading to outright lying directly to your face. And if all of us aren't <laughs> careful, these methods are going to become permanent on grocery store shelves. Right. But by recognizing them and more about, importantly Matt? raising awareness of them, we can stop the spread. So listen up, right. theorists. It's time to catch some thieves red-handed or dust handed nope that didn't work that should have been uh, rust handed oh that would have been good rust handed because it's a bled of dust yeah that makes sense i should have done that internet welcome to food theory where today it's wogo day watch Wogo? one get one free watch this oh, okay. video about how the food on grocery store shelves are trying to cheat you out That's of your money and then you get this free episode thrown in about how the grocery stores themselves are trying to cheat you out of money for no extra charge <laughs> in a world where everyone's oh, yeah. trying to squeeze every the last channel. buck out of your wallet some free online entertainment is pretty much the best deal that you're gonna get so yes, according to reports from march inflation in the u.s is higher now than it's been at any point in the past 40 years like it or not things are getting more expensive Damn. and that sucks but you know what yes, sucks more when the prices oh, don't go up now that might seem counterintuitive Wait. but let me explain what? you see some companies in the food space have figured out a sneaky way to cash in without raising their prices it's oh. an insidious trick hey, known as shrinkflation a trick where you pay the same old price that you always have but you end up getting a smaller product without ever realizing it and it's the oh. long-term effects of this that make it all the more dangerous yeah, one that, of my favorite demonstrations sense, of this came on late night TV back in 2007 hmm. when BJ Novak of the office noticed that Cadbury eggs seemed to be getting smaller. I buy my Cadbury eggs this year. They feel smaller than they used to be. Something is smaller. I look through all the cabinets in my house. I find a Cadbury cream egg from a couple okay. years ago and I brought it. This is this year's egg. Yes. This is the egg. It is small. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Judge for yourself, America. Whoa, so there you have like it. A half Smoking gun clear as something. crystal. The eggs were getting smaller. But the most outlandish part of the whole... Okay, definitely not a half inch. Probably only... Uh, a couple centimeters, but still small. Story is that Cadbury actually tried to deny that this is what they were doing. You go to the main Cadbury mm -hmm. website. It says on the front page, "No, they have not gotten smaller. You've gotten bigger." They were literally oh, gaslighting really? anyone who noticed the trend. Really? It's not us. Really, it's Cadbury? You, lol. That was a ballsy move there, oh. Cadbury. Ballsy move. Of course, they knew they couldn't keep getting away with it after being publicly called out, so they changed their about page on the website from this archived version. Version. Why okay. the size of the eggs changed? It hasn't. You just grew up. To this quote: Since people's preferences vary from <laughs> market to market, so do our products. Basically, an explanation that amounts to yeah, we okay. made the eggs smaller, and we thought we could get away with it by lying to you until we were called out on national TV. This, Call my friends, out. is shrinkflation. Loser. Products becoming smaller over time to give you less bang for your buck, all while keeping you nice in the dark try. about it. You might think that this is just a crazy one-off example, but it's happening everywhere. Case in point: This is what a Doritos bag looked like several years ago, mm. and this is what it looks like in 2022. Notice anything different? No? Well, uh, that's kind of the point. But if you zoom in and enhance, and enhance there down in the corner, the oh, old yeah. bag has a net, net weight of weight. 9 and 3 quarters ounces, or 276.4 hmm. grams. The new bag has a net weight of 9 and 1 quarter ounces, or 260 grams. They took grams. half an that's ounce from us! The around five bastards. chips per bag. And yet, we're still paying the same price. Same cost, <laughs> less product. Earlier this year, Frito-Lay was actually confronted about it, and they explained chips. by saying, quote, <laughs> hitting everyone. We took a little bit out of the bag so we can give you the same price and you can keep enjoying your chips. Wow, thanks there, Frito-Lay. Really yeah, doing us great. a solid by giving us less chips for the same price. Now, nice their explanation job, on the surface would seem to make sense. In the U.S., inflation levels are now at a record high, climbing above 8% in the past few months, higher than they've been great. at any point in my lifetime. Just Everything honestly, is getting more great. expensive, and that's gonna affect everyone, including the food manufacturers. If Doritos is paying more hmm. for the ingredients that go into the chips, then they have two options. They can charge mm. more money for the same product, or they can charge the same amount of money for, for less, less product. It seems like a fair position for them to take. Uh, I do have to agree for as well. I mean, it is kind of an interesting concept. And either you get the same amount, but you have to pay more for it, 
or you get less of what you're looking for, but you pay the same. It really is a conundrum. But there's something that's a bit more insidious going on because most of us aren't actually consciously choosing to pay the same amount we've been paying to reference. get less food. Chances are you've probably purchased products like this without realizing that you were getting less for your dollar. After all, probably are you not. really going to be able to tell the difference if the Doritos bag has five fewer chips in it? No, no of not course really. not. And that's by design. That's the whole point. And that's not I mean, just me saying that. It's actually bag. coming from a research paper from Harvard Business School. Consumers are more sensitive to changes in price than they are to changes in size. True. Tell us that a food product True. is getting 10% more expensive and we might reconsider whether that bag of chips or box of cereal is really worth it. But if you keep the price the same and same reduce price, the amount of food we're food. getting, people are just likely keep on buying the same thing because no one truly notices the difference. For example, yeah, take I mean, this red post from last oh, year that shows the... two orange juice bottles that appear to be identical. But wait, hmm. zoom in and you see that the one on the left is 1.75 liters and the away... one on the right is 1.53. Oh, the how bottle could you? They took away 7 fluid ounces. Small you while bastard. looking almost identical. And the truth is, most of us won't notice that at the breakfast table. After all, if you're pouring yourself a 12 ounce glass of OJ every morning, are you really gonna notice that you're only getting six and a half glasses when you used to get seven? No, they change no, it really. just enough not to trigger your suspicion. And now you're paying the same dollar amount per bottle, but that bottle's gonna have to be replaced more. First off, who the hell is spending, think, let's see, 150, 20, okay, so that's 170, 180, 100. 185. Who is paying 188 bucks for orange juice? <laughs> Matt, whoa! That's a that's better be like orange juice from the Garden of Eden if it's gonna be worth like 188 bucks. More often, Damn, boy! More in the long run. Unfortunately, we don't always get a handy side-by-side -side comparison, and sometimes even oh, looking at two ads on the Hold shelf on, isn't gonna tell you the full story. Years. And we're back. The full story. Years back, Skippy managed to change the amount of peanut butter that you were getting in a jar, while making okay. the jars appear to be the same size. They kept the same width and the same height, but they put an indentation in the bottom. Then, after we oh, had gotten really? used to that, they then deepened that indentation that. further. No matter how okay, sharp your eyes may be, terrible. it's pretty darn tough to keep up with the shrinkflation meta. It's the kind of thing that seems invisible, and what's the big deal with a couple ounces here and there, but giving you 12% less liquid in the bottle is the equivalent of charging you 13.6% more for the same product. Hmm. Something that will definitely affect your grocery bill for the month. If they had actually raised the price, then you would have noticed, and you might have decided to buy a different product instead. But with shrinkflation, mm -hmm. food companies are able to blind us to the reality that things <laughs> are getting Bus more bang. expensive. Uh, so, how do you avoid falling victim to all this? Bang. For one thing, be on the lookout anytime the shape of the packaging wow. changes. Sorry. For example, take a look at these two boxes of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah. It's almost as if they tried to hide the fact this one is tall, while well, this one is wide -all. That the box on the right is smaller by making it slightly taller. But if we pay attention to what really matters, mm -hmm. the numbers, we can actually see that the box on the right only has 532 grams of cereal compared to the other box with 547. Sometimes uh -huh. companies will try to disguise the change by labeling the new packaging as new look, but that's usually just disguising the shrunken size with marketing hype. Luckily, mm -hmm. grocery mm -hmm. stores usually offer a useful half an tool, ounce. the price tag. When you're looking at a price tag, it's tempting to focus on the big number that you see up front, the one that says that you're paying $2.99 for a jar, or $5.48 for a box, but ignore that. Okay. Instead, focus on the amount that you're paying per ounce or per oh, unit. Ounce. For one thing, hmm. that's going to help you find the better deals by buying the container that's cheapest per ounce. But more importantly, yeah, right. you'll start to notice when that number starts to creep upward, even when the big number what displaying the? the price of the item seems to stay the same. But you know what? Even hmm. that isn't enough sometimes. Take this what example from astute hell? Reddit user, has anyone seen my mom, who discovered yeah. <laughs> that all these tikka masala simmer sauce has actually been watering down their product to the point where a fourth hmm. cup serving now contains 50 calories of food instead of the usual 60. On the surface, it looks like the hmm. portion size has gone up. Now How it's 70 grams you? instead of 60 grams, but the jar has gone from seven servings per container to six. How's that for confusing labeling? I mean, that right there right. is the reason I tend not to use serving sizes when crunching the numbers for the show, just like hmm. we talked about last week. So if you crunch the numbers out, the jar on the left is oh, giving you- Oh, that's what that video was? Oh, huh. Yeah, to be honest, I never watched that episode because I- just never kind of saw a reason to, but hey, now I understand what it was about. Um, it's about the, the numbers you use of the food when actually making these vids. So now I completely understand that.
you around seven yeah, servings at 60 calories or 420 calories worth of food while the nice. jar on the right is giving you six servings at 50 calories or 300 calories worth of food a whopping 29 mm. percent less food despite the fact that the jar actually looks taller due to all the water that they just added and we uh, know for a fact you? that they're watering it down you can tell that they just added water because the ingredients list has to list them in order of quantity oh, and the that. jar on the left water. lists tomato as the first ingredient while the jar on the right lists water as first a head of tomato uh, for what was supposed to be the same product. But hey, who's you? actually gonna go and read the fine print, right? Business practices like these are why consumer watchdog groups are so important. One of my watchdog favorites group. is mouseprint.org, which is oh, full of all kinds go. of examples showing how sun-made raisins, which used to be 22.5 ounces in a container, now gives you 20 ounces eh, of dry fruit. How bars raisins. of soap have gotten 20% smaller. The best, though, are the toilet paper examples, which is like Sorry? doing algebra on steroids. One mega roll equals four regular rolls, and each of those regular rolls is two ply, so how much toilet paper are you really getting? Well, doesn't hmm. matter. Any way you slice it, it's less across the board. We're going yeah. from 264 sheets to 244. It's enough to overwhelm oh, you. That. And you see, that's the point. The other Mega point, though, is, is that the more. sizes never go back up. It'd be one thing to shrink products in order to reduce costs during times when expenses are high, like yeah. now when the food industry is still recovering from production shortages, but yeah. the problem is they never bounce back. There is never a return to normalcy. I mean, why would there be? Come if you on, have no why? problem paying the same amount for less product and you don't notice it, why should they suddenly make the sizes bigger again? Instead, they stay Ugh. small. They settle into a new normal before, hey, you know what? It's time to shrink again. Take, um, for instance, the goes, toilet paper less. example that I just talked about. Consumer Reports has been tracking the information on toilet paper brands since 2009, Wait, only to find would... that the sheets have been getting smaller and smaller while the rolls have been getting shorter paper. and shorter, reducing the amount of paper that Whatever. you're getting by over 20%. Again, you are getting 20% less product Product than what you were paying for a few years prior. Damn. And there is nothing that you can do to stop it. Or is there? Damn. You see, the answer is to not let them get away with it. When you see packaging getting smaller to hide the fact that the products are getting more expensive, call companies out on social media. At a minimum, you'll be informing your fellow consumers. And if companies actually start to <laughs> face significant backlash for it, it'll force them to start being more honest in their business practices. Public shaming has <laughs> been proven to work when it comes to shrinkflation. Mondelez is the owner of Toblerone. And back in 2014, they reduced the weight of their bars by 25%. Mm. Literally a fourth of the product disappeared by that. adding more space between each piece. But then the public started to call them out on it and they reversed the decision two <laughs> years later. So it Tough. can be done. That, my friends, is why this is one of those instances when hashtag activism can actually make a difference. The, the reason companies have gotten away with this for so long is that we've been in the dark about listen. what's really happening. But now there are whole subreddits dedicated to tracking these sorts of product changes. So stay nice. informed, share that information with others, and call out the businesses that you see doing oh, this with their this. shiny new packaging. If not, the products aren't going to be the only thing shrinking. Whoa. Your wallet will as well. But hey, that's <laughs> just a theory. A food theory. Bon appetit. And well, that's why I'm going to leave off this vid. And he's right. I mean, if we see something like this, we need to call it out. But it's all hard on money. And that's going into buying less and less. It doesn't make any sense. And you see something like this, call them out on social media no matter where. But for now, I want y'all to remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And the and, uh, link will be, uh, uh, a link to the original video will be in the description below. So remember to check that out and support the original creators and all they do. And I'll see all of you folks in the next video. So have a good one.